Previously on Kaylin Nix's Road to Superstar. Kaylin auditioned for a role in Apocalypse Rising, and of course, she nailed the audition. Became a three-star celebrity, and the fame went to her head a little bit. Paparazzi's interested in me! <gasps> Finally starting to realize I'm a big deal. But the paparazzi were not there for her. But it was too late. The excitement already went to her head. She decided to have a meet and greet where she entertained her guests. <laughs> 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 get it, get it, get it, get it. Hit it, hit it, hit it, hit it, yeah, yeah. And nobody wanted her autograph after that. Every long lost dream. <laughs> but Kaylin didn't let that bring her down. She continued to star in role after role after role. She didn't get nominated for any Oscars though, but she went anyways, and guess what? She still won an award. This is how we do. Now back to the story. Hi guys, welcome back. I'm very excited for this episode. So the first thing I'm going to do is have Kaylin and Hawaii move into their own little house together. So I'm really excited to get this started. This is one of my favorite parts about playing The Sims is having them have their own families and be parents and just, I don't know, just make their own life. That's what makes it so fun. So before I have them like look at houses and stuff, I am going to go ahead and have her check for gigs really quick just because I don't want her fame level to go down. And I only want to do things we haven't done yet, and I feel like the ones we haven't done yet do not cost very much money. Um, oh, wait a minute. They have new ones on here. Okay. So there's Dead Sea Adventures, which I haven't done yet. There's Of Tea and Treachery. Treasures of Arabville. Arbyville. Arbyville? Air? Ar? I have no idea how to say that. Um, I kind of want to do the Of Tea and Treachery because it, feel, it sounds all sophisticated and makes me... Makes me sound like I'm going to be a queen or something. The Queen of England. I can't. I was going to say that with a British accent, but I, I can't do any accents. I'm just not good at that. That audition for that starts at 9 a.m. on Tuesday. It's not even Monday yet, so dang. So I'm going to sell the things in her house to get her some money so that she can actually afford a new house. Um, hey, the gnome is $310. Whoever put this here, thank you. Thank you very much. That was quite a bit of money. Objects can't interact with stairs. I was trying to sell it. Calm down. Oh my goodness. Man, I'm already at $16,000. Hell to the yes. With everything gone, it left them with $213,000. Nice. She sold her parents' home, um, and she made herself a nice little profit. So her and her boo are going to move into another city now. Where do I want them to move, though, is the question. Oh, so there is a spot that they can live here. I must not have been paying much attention whenever I first started this series. My bad. Okay, well, I'm going to have them move to the empty lot so that they can build their own house. So this is where they're gonna move. It's $7,000 for the lot. The cautious green. I am gonna get rid of the trees. And the rocks have to go. I am not good at building houses. I'm literally just gonna get styled rooms and put them together and call it good. And then I'll just show you guys what it looks like when it's all done. I finally finished their house. Again, I am really bad at the house. Uh, I'm really bad at making houses. You know how they always say that there's different types of simmers? I definitely spend, I'm definitely the custom content freak. That is my main thing. I spend most of my time, if I'm not playing The Sims, I am searching for clothes and hair and things like that. I am a terrible builder, okay? Literally all I did was I went to build mode and I chose styled rooms and I, you know, found my favorite rooms and then I kind of just pinned them together. Uh, so it doesn't look very good, okay? But they have a fence, as you can tell, because they're celebrities. They don't want anybody coming in. And with celebrities, as you all know, you want to protect your children because sometimes people are just crazy. I got some rose bushes because the roses are just so pretty. The house is red. You can't really tell. I think it's because it's dark um, in Sims time. Um, so yeah. Let's take the, well, actually, I'm going to leave the walls up. Let me just, like, zoom in and see how it goes. Actually, I can't do that. All right, I am going to take the walls down. Okay, so you first walk into the house, and there's a welcome mat. This is where they could take their shoes off, even though we all know they don't actually do that, but we can pretend, okay? That's what this game is about, pretending. Anyway, and then on this side, if you go to the right of the house, 
you come into this lovely, um, I would say living room, but when I think living room, I think of like TVs and stuff, you know, where you watch TV with your family. They don't have a TV in here. This is more of like, I guess the study, like homework room, or if they just want to chill and relax with the family. And then because they're famous, um, and they got to watch TV, I gave them the whole movie theater. Oh yeah. And then I had to give her husband his own man cave, okay? Because every once in a while, he's probably going to want to get away from his kids and get away from his wife and just have some beer and play some ping pong, whatever the heck this is. Yeah. And then we're going to go to the left of the house. So let's, again, so like if you took your shoes off and you went to the left instead of the right, you would see our lovely kitchen. Um, it's nothing too crazy, but I like it a lot. I think it's super cute. I want it cute and simple. And, oh, I forgot to put a door into the dining room, so I'll have to add a door. But, and then once there's a door, you can come into the dining room. Again, I wanted it to be cute and simple. We got some cute little plants on here. I like it. I like it. And then, of course, I'm going to need a guest bathroom. So I connected the guest bathroom and um, with the dining room. So here's the beautiful guest bathroom. I wanted, to be, wanted it to be cute and simple. And then if you just go straight, you'll come to another hallway. And this is where, this is going to be like, okay, I'm hoping she has a girl, but obviously she's not pregnant yet. So I'm not sure what the gender of the baby is going to be. It'll be really funny if she has boys because I only have female bedrooms because I don't know, like girl stuff is just cute. It's just so much cuter than boy stuff. Anyways, so this is obviously for when their baby will grow into a child. Um, I already have a toddler room for her, which I'll show you. But this is where she'll be when she's a child and she has her own gorgeous bathroom. Like this will just be for her. If it's a boy, I'll have to change the color and all that jazz. Um, and then if you keep going straight, that's going to be where the mom and the dad's bedroom is. Um, yes, okay, I made it girly. So yes, her husband probably realistically would not like this room. But as you all, I'm sure, know, for the most part, women wear the pants in the relationship anyways. So as long as the wife is giving him sex and giving him attention and hanging out with him when he wants and stuff, or, you know, then he should be fine with this bedroom, okay? He'll be fine because <laughs> his needs are still being met. It's a bedroom. The whole house doesn't look like this. He'll be okay. And this is where I put the beautiful baby crib. Again, I made it pink because I'm hoping it's a girl. If it's not, I'll have to change it all up, but it's okay. And then this is her beautiful, this is her gorgeous closet. I'm obsessed with this closet. I would love this. And then, of course, I put her Oscar awards right here. She only has two right now, but it's going to change, guys. Uh, fingers crossed, this girl's going to get some more Oscars, okay? She's going to fill this whole entire shelf with Oscar awards. And then connected to her bedroom is the toddler room. So this will be when her little girl, fingers crossed, <laughs> moves or becomes a toddler. She'll have her own room. I just thought this was so freaking cute. I was especially obsessed with the cubbies. Like, I know that they're just cubbies, but the decorations, like, the colors that just, the colors just pop. This is so cute. This is what sold the whole room for me was the cubbies and then this floor mat. So freaking cute. And then, of course, their bathroom. <coughs> I had to make sure that they also had a bathroom connected to their bedroom. So theirs is simple. I made sure they had a bathtub so that they can bathe their baby. And obviously they needed a potty chair for her. Yes, it's pink, but I needed it to match the bedroom. And again, the husband will be fine. He'll be fine, okay? Because this is pretty much the only part that looks girly. And you only sleep for a little bit, okay? The bedroom is where you sleep anyways. It doesn't matter if it's pink. It'll be okay. Just wanted you to see the other side of the bathroom. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much, that's the end of the tour. For me, the hardest part of the houses are the, is the roof. So I did the best that I could, but this is what the house looks like, like from far away view. Um, I added a tree, which looks really funny far away, but it's fine. Uh, but yeah, this is their house. The outside looks absolutely terrible, but I think the inside looks amazing. Thanks for the styled room option. Uh, but yeah, now let's get into the actual part of the game and let's have these, let's have our lovely celebrity couple make some babies and let's get her some more oscar awards let's continue down the road of superstardom so that she could become a five-star celebrity so she could be a superstar oh yeah <laughs> all right so we are finally getting the game officially started so the first thing i'm gonna do so her audition in case y'all forgot is at 9 a.m. on Tuesday, and it's for Of Tea and Treachery. Still can't do a British accent, but I sure do try. So we're going to get these two to uh, start planning their wedding. So I'm probably going to have them get flirty, and then her boo is going to propose. 
Because it's time. It is time. I'm going to serenade him. All that fun stuff. First things first. Got to make sure that their needs will stay filled. Because I hate when my sims are needy bitches. So, we're going to fix that right now. Stop fucking walking away. Here we go. Okay. <laughs> All right. I'm serenading him. He's going to be like, oh my gosh. She's like such a beautiful singer. I must propose. And that is how it happened. And that's what they're going to tell their kids too. I'm gonna hear your mother sang to me. And I just knew I had to marry that woman. True story. Where's propose? I don't want to try for a baby yet. Ah, propose. Here we go. And then we'll have them plan out their wedding. <gasps> and then I can pick out her wedding dress. That sounds fun. At least to me. That sounds fun to me. More CC shopping. Here he goes. He's proposing. And of course she said yes. All right. So now they are engaged. Woo! What the fuck? I have never, ever, ever had this happen. What the fuck, guys? <laughs> Do you see her? But when she goes over here, her dress will appear. Wait for it. What the? I've never seen that happen. Like, what? <laughs> I'm so confused. What's going on? The... <laughs> oh, my God. So I just can't zoom in? Is that what it is? Just don't zoom in? No, I just, what? <laughs> I wanted to show you her wedding dress, but um, it's not working right now, so I might have to change it. Well, this is what her wedding dress is supposed to look like. Close up, you know. Um, I'm not sure why it's not working. I'm going to, a lot of times when, see, when uh, costume content messes up, it's the shoes. I'm going to change your shoes and see if that makes a difference, but I, I have no idea. You know, I think the best way to figure that out, though, is to use shoes that are from the game. So let me find shoes from the game that are cute, which is going to be hard because CC is always cuter. Here, these are from the game. So we'll see if that fixes the problem. If not, I might have to look for another wedding dress. <laughs> Sad face. Ah, the shoes didn't work. Well, I guess I have to change up her wedding dress. Well, then, <laughs> I can't, they're the watching her walk. <laughs> this wedding dress didn't work for some reason. I got a couple more. I went uh, CC shopping to look for more wedding dresses. So there's this one, which I like, but I think I'm, I really like this one. Her boobs look cute, and I love how poofy it is. I hate that you lose her arms, but, you know, that's what happens with custom content sometimes. This one was honestly my favorite, but because it's messed up, because of, like, you know, that's just what happens with broken mods and broken CC. But if it wasn't broken, this would absolutely be the one that I'd want, but it's, it doesn't work, and I'm very sad about it. And then there's this one. I don't know if it really looks like a wedding dress to me, so I'm going to pass on this. And then this one, I actually like this one. So this one is a maybe. This one is super cute. Okay, I like this one too. I wish it was more white though. Like it looks more, I think it's gray and white. I wish the whole thing was white. And then this would have been a 100% yes. But this one's probably no. I don't even know why I downloaded this to be honest. Because in real life, I'm just not a fan of the mermaid style. So this is a no. I like this one too, but I don't know if it's a, I don't know if I'd consider it a wedding dress. Ooh, look at the back though. The back is super cute. Just not a wedding dress though. I do like this one though, but I, I don't know. When I think wedding dresses, I like poofy dresses. So this one's probably a no. This was my favorite. So I'm very upset that as you can tell, if you look at like the bottom of it, this part right here, <laughs> it's broken. So whenever I took my thumbnail pictures and stuff, I'm not sure how it would look outside of Create a Sim. So I can't use this one. But other than that one spot, I think this dress is absolutely gorgeous. Hey, babe, come here. Babe. I'm going to get my husband's opinion on dresses. So it's either between this one or I just bought the Wedding Stories pack, and there's one dress in there that I love too. And I don't usually like the clothes that already come with the game, but I really like it. So we're going to let him decide which wedding dress my Sim is going to get. <laughs> da, 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 da. It's real quick. You're going to decide what her wedding dress is. It's between two. Yes, dear, they can hear you, but they can't see. So this is one of my favorites because it's poofy. But 
just pretend that her arms don't get lost. Okay? And then there's one that's actually in the game that I like, but I, I don't know which one I like better. So, my wedding story. Or... This one. That one. It's simple. This one? It's simple and elegant. Yeah, I like it. Okay, well this is her wedding dress. You heard it, guys. My husband has chosen this wedding dress. Da 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 da. All right, so this will be her wedding dress. Now she's officially done. I added a crown because the day is all about her. She has a diamond necklace because, I mean, she's rich. She's a celebrity, and diamonds are a girl's best friend. She has a diamond bracelet to match it. And then I found a CC where you can actually have a bouquet of flowers, and so she'll be holding a bouquet of flowers, and I'm super excited. So, yep, she is ready to go. Now we just have to get a suit for her husband, or her future husband, I should say. I literally bought Wedding Stories, the, the Wedding Stories game pack today for my video so that I could actually have them have like a real wedding ceremony. I'm not exactly sure how it works. So um, we'll get to learn together, I suppose, because I don't know what I'm doing. So let's learn together. <laughs> let's have her husband. Let's make him have a nice suit. I don't get custom content for guys just because, I don't know, I just I just don't. I think it's because I'm a girl, so I mean, every time I play The Sims, I'm the female Sim. So hopefully the game has some nice suits, because I don't have any custom content suits for him. All right, let's go to formal wear. Um, yeah, see, like, this doesn't match. I do like the white, though, but let's see if we can find something else. Ew. Um, two, what the heck? He looks like a butler. Uh, hang on. Let me see if I like anything from the wedding pack like I did for her. All right, my wedding stories. Let's see if he's got any good ones. Mm. No. No. <laughs> Ew, what the heck? No. <laughs> Man, they didn't have anything good for men as usual. Again, men are always neglected on The Sims. Poor, poor men. These are horrible. I, I mean, this one's the best, but I don't like it. So we'll just go with what they already had. Let's see. Let's see what they already had. I'm sure I'll find one I like better. This was a no. This one's not bad. I wish I had a tie, though. I mean, let me change the color. Yeah, no. Still no. It looks like pajamas. It does not look like something you'd wear to a wedding. What the? Budge nuggets. Oh, oh. Hey, I did have one. Look, there's one that was custom content, and so far I think this one's the best. So, again, custom content uh, wins. I like the blue, but it doesn't really match her dress. I might just have to keep it black or gray. Now I just have to hope that it works, because sometimes custom content looks really weird whenever you get out of Creatism. Uh, I'm going to change his shoes to more. Yeah, there we go. All right, there's our handsome dude ready to get married. All right, well, I can zoom in on it, and he doesn't look weird, so that's a good sign. Oh, he looks so handsome. They're such a cute couple. I love them. So, Kaylin already has her charisma skill to level 7, but I really, really want her to actually get nominated for an Oscar award this time. And since her, it only needs to be at level 7 for her audition, I want to see if I work her butt off and get it to, like, level 9. A level 10 would be nice, but I don't think I'll be, she'll be able to do that. Uh, with the amount of time that she has. But if I can at least get it to like level 8 or 9, I will, I'm curious if that'll make a difference and make her have a higher chance of being nominated. So I guess we'll find out. Her charisma skill is now level 8. Kaylin can now invent new hashtags and perform an enchanting, oh, and perform an enchanting introduction. And she had, and her audition starts in three hours. Woohoo! All right, she's dressed and ready to go to her audition. She's posing for the paparazzi for a little bit because she has a little bit of time. And obviously, we got to keep her fame up. Continuing appearances is how she stays relevant. All right, she's heading to her audition now. My girl walks so good in heels, guys. Just saying. <gasps> audition passed. Well, you got the role. That's good. Not going to lie, we are a little out of our depth with all these fancy roles about etik, et et etik. Et Adequate? <laughs> I mean, why would you ever need more than one fork? Ah, I'll figure it out, girl. I was born to be fabulous. So her movie starts at 12 p.m. on Wednesday. I need to, I need her to practice, to practice. I need her to practice dramatic scenes, develop her charisma skill, and research the flirty emotion. Ooh la la la. Let's have her develop charisma skills first because that's the easiest thing to do. So I'll have her practice speech again. 
All right, she is performing a dramatic scene with her husband or future husband right now because um, she has to practice dramatic scenes. So that's what they are doing right now. I've noticed a lot of them are the same because I feel like this is the exact thing she did whenever she practiced horror and romantic scenes. Yeah, the same exact thing. Well, I guess I don't need to show you then. You guys have already seen it. Well, that put her in a flirty mood, so I can go ahead and have her research the flirty emotion now by being flirty with her boo. Don't even have to have her take a steamy shower, so this was very helpful. It's a good thing they already love each other. Oh man, she's not flirty anymore. Like, she was, and now it says she's not, so now it's not working. Well, I guess I do have to have her take a see a steamy, a steamy shower now. Dang it. All right, now she's in a flirty mood again, so here we go. Let's see. She can flirt with him. Blow him a kiss. Um, hold his hand. That one's always cute. And then kiss him. That should do the trick. All right. Well, their research floating motion is now 100% complete. I love how he kisses her back when I don't even ask him to. I don't know, like, uh, hopeless romantic for reals, but it's okay. Anyways, um, so I'm going to have them. Oh, they just did it again. I'm going to have them um, plan their wedding now. Just kidding. It's 8 o'clock at night. Okay, well, they'll have to plan it after she does her movie then. All right, it's 11.50. She's about to go to her movie, and I'm super excited. This is her adorable outfit for the day. Super cute. All right, join. All right, as usual, we got to get her hair done. Darling. Looks like she got a new hairstylist who's looking at his hand again like the other guy because he's not intelligent. That's why they work for me. They just didn't have anything else going for them. Oi! <laughs> Fix my makeup, sir. I don't think it changed. I think he just gave me blush. That was it. <laughs> okay. I mean, that's because I'm already so beautiful that there's nothing to change. I mean, have you seen me? Oh my gosh. I'm like fabulous. Oh, there's my beautiful poofy hairdo. I love it. All right, get into my costume. I am very excited to see what the costume is. I wonder if it's going to be a really poofy, fancy dress, and I wonder if I'm going to get a fancy hat. Fingers crossed. That'd be so cool. I'm supposed to be all elegant and stuff in this movie because I'm going to be drinking tea with my pinky up because I'm fancy. I'm so fancy. You already know. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, so glamorous. I love it. I actually really like this outfit. This is so cute. Let's practice octing. Let's see what else I have to do. Then I have to gossip with somebody. So I guess I'll gossip with this nobody. And then I have to get to know somebody. Ugh, get to, got to get to know some peasant. All right, get to know. Oh, now I have to ask her about her day. Now she's, she's going to think we're friends if I keep asking her all of these personal questions. Oh my gosh. Disgusting. Ugh, what you have to do to be famous. Gotta pretend to like all these bitches. Ah, director, here we go. I'm ready to perform, biatch. Let's go. All right, here we go. Here is the set. It is gorgeous. I love all the flowers. All right, risky flirt as usual. They do this in all of their movies. I pretty much got this down. This is why I'm so good at what I do. I do the same thing in all my movies, guys. I kind of want to break out of this box that y'all have put me in. But, I mean, ah, it pays my bills. And people love me, so never mind. Hey, they finally switched up the guy that she gets to flirt with and kiss, though. It's about time they got rid of the he-she. Ah, I'm moving up in the world. All right, risky kiss. Hopefully I get to kiss the same dude, because he's actually fairly attractive. Don't tell my future husband, guys. All right, now, I, oh, he is still here. Dang it, do I have to kiss him? Though? Oh, I get to cuss at him. Ha <laughs> ha! Come here, motherfucker. I do think it's funny that I have a scene where I'm shouting forbidden words because I thought this was supposed to be more of an elegant type of movie. I didn't think my sim was going to have a potty mouth in this movie, and now I'm having a sword fight. This is literally called of tea and treachery. I mean, I guess the fighting is treacherous. But, I don't know, I guess I thought she was literally going to be sitting at a table sipping tea. I really thought it was going to be an elegant type of movie, but I was wrong. That! Hi-ya! <laughs> Die, peasant! <laughs> They're not even sipping tea. Like, what is this? The title of this was so deceiving. 
All right, so she made $6,400. She got three fame stars from this. <gasps> and she was nominated for an Oscar, guys. She is back in the game. Hell yeah. That's weird. So when she got here, I don't know if it's this car, but she says she's that she's suspicious. And it says mischievous soul nearby. An acquaintance of Kaylin is around. Not the nice type of acquaintance whom you want to know more, however, but rather the type that you want to avoid. Kaylin barely knows the other Sam, but they're... Their aura of mischief irks her. And there's some this random car here, which I don't think was here earlier. I've never, I don't think I've ever had this happen before. That's so, I don't know. Her husband seems fine, though. I wonder if he'll get the same way if he walks by the car. Let me see, because I'm curious. I hope it's not her she's suspicious of. He better not have cheated while I was at work, man. I'll be pissed. Nope, nothing's happening to him. That's so weird. Okay, whatever it is, it just disappeared. So, I mean, I guess she's okay now. Huh, weird. Anyway, it is time for her to um, get church. Uh, it's time for her to check for more gigs. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. Obviously, I only want to do one she hasn't done yet. Ooh, should she do Tournament of Honor or Deep Sea Adventures? So Deep Sea Adventures sounds really cool because I could be a pirate, like Pirates of the Caribbean. Hashtag Team Johnny. But the Tournament of Honor pays more money, and what if I could be a princess? I'm gonna go with that. I'm gonna do Tournament of Honor so I can live my dreams of being a princess. So my audition starts at 7 p.m. on Thursday. I just need my charisma skill to level seven and it's already at level eight, so I'm good there. Her audition is about to start. It starts at 7 p.m. at 6.43. The car is still here and she's not getting that same suspicious mood lift that she got last time. So I don't know what, I don't know who or what she saw, but she's fine now. And go to your audition. All right, away she goes. So on the game, it's Valentine's Day tomorrow, which they call Love Day. So I'm going to have them get married on Love Day because how perfect was that? And I think that'd be super cute. All right, her audition passed. Woohoo! The audition was so awesome, you got the part. The swords were all like whoosh, crack, ting. And then that co-star was on the ground, and we hear they are springing for CG dragons. We can't wait to tell people that we know who you are. Ah, oh, I've been waiting my whole life to hear that. Thank you so much. It means the world to me. So I guess her acting skill was already developed. I didn't do that, so I don't know why that's there, but okay. So all she has to do now is practice dramatic scenes again and develop her charisma skills. So very easy stuff. Her husband is right there, so we'll practice the dramatic skills first. We're already here, Beish. Stop waving for us to come. Oh. Alright, perfect. That is complete now. So now all she has to do is develop her charisma skill and then she is ready to ace this movie. Nice. So her movie starts 9am on Saturday, which is perfect because today is Friday and I really, really want them to get married. So once she develops her charisma skill, she's going to get ready for her wedding. Alright, her, her charisma skill is developed. Woohoo! And it's 4 a.m., so let's start getting her, let's start getting their wedding together and ready. All right, so she's calling to plan her wedding event right now. Wedding ceremony. I guess they're already saved, which is good. Sims of honor. Oh, she needs a maid of honor. I don't, I don't think she has any friends, so that's impossible. <laughs> I guess they can do, though. I guess she'll invite, like, the producers and stuff, and he's part of all our movies, so I guess he can come too. So let's see. Selected activities. Okay, this is kind of cool. Um, obviously I want that. Ooh, a feast. Absolutely. A first dance. Cute. Cut the cake. Throw rice. Exchange vowels. Um, have tea, I guess? Sure. Walk down the aisle. Have speeches. Have drinks. Uh, have toast, for sure. So pretty much everything I want them to do. Star an event. Nope, this is their outfit. Super fucking cute. Um, I might make their color blue because blue is just a really pretty color. Wedding venue. There's a wedding venue. Then obviously we're going to go to the wedding venue. Obviously. We're going to get the full experience. I didn't necessarily want it to start now considering it's six in the morning, but okay. I guess we're getting married at six in the morning, so let's get this started. Wow, it's really pretty in here, though. There's a piano and a microphone. All right, so it looks like this table is how you can do the ceremony activities. Um, so let's see. I guess I'll have them gather for speeches. Here, I guess I'll have her... I'll have Hawaii give the speech. I'm so excited. This is kind of cool. 
I'm frozen. Okay, never mind, it fixed. So we're gathering for the speeches. Where are we gathering at? Oh, okay, so we're gonna gather in this. Oh, wow, I didn't even see this. This is gorgeous. This is so cool. And you can also do some morning activities using this. Oh, this must be where we do the drinks. Like, ah, get the toast. This is cool. All right, so he's given a speech. Thanking everybody for coming, saying how much he loves Kaylin. Ah, oh, who wouldn't? And then I'm gonna have Kaylin give a toast. Okay, the speeches are said. I'm not really sure, like, the order that this is supposed to go in, because, like, me and my husband got married at the courthouse. We didn't have a ceremony. So I'm not sure how this is supposed to go order wise, but we're just gonna wing it. <laughs> Alright, so they had toasts. Um, I'm assuming now they get married. So, because I think you throw rice after they get married. So let's go ahead and have them get married. How do I have her walk down the aisle? Oh, I see. Okay, walk down aisle. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on a sec. Go back. The guest's going to sit or what? All right, so the guests are coming to sit. That way it's actually like a wedding. I'm sorry, guys. I'm figuring this out as I go. So very sorry that it's like a little disorganized. All right, here we go. Walk down the aisle. And then now I'm going to have her exchange vows and kiss Hawaii. Now everybody's watching. Oh, this is so cute. Who is this? Exchange vows. All right, so Hawaii is coming. Here we go. So cute. Um, what's going on? I'm so confused. Hang on. Let me pause this before it like messes up. I'm so confused how this all works. Like, is, are they gonna officially be married once they do this? Okay, here we go. Here we go. So yeah, I think they're. I think they're officially getting married right now, tying the knot, all that fun stuff, and they're so cute. The lovely couple. Alright, so now the guests are throwing rice at us because we tied the knot, all that fun stuff. And then I guess we can have our first dance. Where are we? What are we doing? You can't even see what we're doing because of all the umbrellas. I'm so confused. Okay, well, maybe I'll just have them cut the cake then, because I can't get the first dance to actually work. Where is the cake? Oh, man, they should have had the wedding inside. Gather for first dance. It's not working. Okay, that's not working. Where's the cake? I don't understand where the cake would be. So. Time to eat, I guess. I can see why people didn't really like this pack. It's it's kind of a mess, honestly. I don't even know like where the cake is at so that they can cut it. I don't even know where to find it. I thought it was going to be on this table, but this was for the feast itself. So I don't know. They have people passing out and stuff. They can't even take themselves to the bathroom. This is just a mess. I couldn't get them to have their first dance. Um, I still need to find the cake so that, you know, they can have the wedding that, you know, my son wanted. But um, maybe it's over here. Let's see if cake is here. I don't see cake. It's just food. Wait, wait. Maybe the cake is out here. I don't know why it would be out there, though. Like, there should be a spot for it to be inside. Um... Well, I guess that's it. I mean, Sims are leaving. They had their meal. That's it. That was kind of disappointing, honestly. At least to me. That was super disappointing. I'm still upset. I'm still upset with how this pack worked. Like, the wedding ceremony's over. I couldn't find the cake. I couldn't figure out how to get them to have their first dance. I'm a little... I'm just... I'm kind of in disappoint mode right now. Anyway, I'm gonna have them go home. That's it for their wedding. Well, it, it, it did work, though, because... Um, it says that they just got married, so they, it did work for that, so that's nice. Um, but yeah, so they are now married, so I'm going to work on getting her pregnant once she does her movie, which is going to be 9 a.m. on Saturday. It's 8 o'clock now, so I'm just going to have her sleep until it's time for her to do her movie. All right, so she has the, so she's about to go shoot her movie now. I'm super excited. Uh, let's see, it's 8.40 now, and it starts, her movie starts at 9 a.m., so here we go. All right, now here we go. Well, there, girl, 
You're leaving. Leave him alone. Let's see what her hair and makeup is going to be today. Okay, I'm watching her makeup to see if it changes. Uh, doesn't look like it yet. Yeah, I don't think it changed at all again. <laughs> uh, I think it'd be better in black. I don't know. I don't get why they keep changing her hair to brown. I honestly do think that black suits her a lot better, but obviously he's in charge of what my hair is for the movies. He's the one that... These are the people that pay my bills, so I can't complain. All right, let's see what her costume is going to be for this movie. I hope it's a fancy dress. Like, I hope I get to be a princess for this movie. I think that'd be super pretty and cool, because as a kid, every, every child, for the most part, female children, want to be a princess. Um, I think so. All I'm missing is a crown. I don't necessarily like this outfit, but, you know, it's fine. Um, let's see. Let me gossip with her again. I need to find my co-star so that we can rehearse our scene. Co-star, nice, I found him. All right, rehearse scene. And then I guess I have to be funny on set, so let me tell a joke, and then I have to compliment him, so I'll just compliment his appearance. And then I'll let the director know that I'm ready. All right, cool. Um, let's see. Director, here he is. All right. Ready to perform. Yes, I am. All right, so this is going to be the set. Oh, I like it. Very formal. Is that the word I'm looking for? Very old-fashioned? I don't know what I'm looking for, but I like it. All right, so the first thing I get to do is shout forbidden words again. Some more curse words. Here we go. This is how I get my anger out with life, man. Whenever I had a bad day, I just get to come on set and just cuss at some random person, and I get paid to do it. That sounds like the life. I hate your guts. You smell like feet. You are disgusting. I've never met you in my life, but I hate you already. Fucking bitch. Let's make a toast. I told that bitch off. I made him cry. He literally went to his mother and cried. <laughs> Here, cheers to that. Ah, oh, you made him cry. And you've saved our kingdom from that treacherous asshole. So for that, I will kiss you. All right, so she earned $6,400 for this one. She got three fame points again. Nice. So she, nothing... I think I'm as high as she can go in this career, so I don't think she's going to get promoted anymore. Um, and she's already been nominated for an award, so I don't think she'd be nominated again. But that movie went well, so she did two movies already. She's been nominated, and today's Saturday. And in case you forgot... The Starlight Arcalades are always at 6 p.m. on Sundays, so I am not going to have her do any gigs until she goes to that award show first. So, um, yeah, so we will check back in with Kaylin once she is getting ready for the Starlight Arcalades. Okay, so it's 7 o'clock at night, and now that they're married and everything is going good in both of their careers and their life, it's time for them to be a little romantic and try for a baby. Take the next step in their relationship. Yeah, yes. Okay, I want him to kiss her. All right, kiss, and then they're going to try for a baby. I need her to stop singing to him first. Okay, you've already serenaded to the dude. He gets it. He gets it. You can sing. Now shut the fuck up. Please. Beautiful. All right. And try for baby. Here we go. Okay, this is the part where you guys get to the baby making. Let's go. It's taking so long. Chat with him. Do I need to try again? Here we go. Here we go. Okay. Yeah! Alright, they're ready. They're pumped. Yeah, I know. Another CC mistake, but it's okay. <laughs> ooh la la la. Ooh, ooh la la. <laughs> what could be like from Trek? Ha ah, ah, ha ha. You know, right before the bird explodes, we'll do that music instead of my creepiness. <laughs> okay, no protection was used. Perfect. That's what we wanted. All right. No, don't sleep. I need you to take a pregnancy test, girl. Yeah, by the way, I don't know what's going on with your lingerie. Like, whenever you get closer, you can actually see that it's white and it's really pretty. Okay, but from far away, it looks like she's wearing a diaper, and I don't like it. It looks so silly right now, but it's fine. Anyways, we're going to have her take a pregnancy test. Kaylin's not pregnant. <gasps> Well, in that case, they gotta do it again. Come back here and do the dirty with me. Get your booty back in here, Hawaii. All right, let's try this again. 
<laughs> and put the baby in me right now. So let's see if it worked this time. Let's see if the second time is the charm. Take a pregnancy test. Do, do, do. Ah, there we go. Second time is the charm. Hail to the yeah. All right, Kaylin is pregnant. Woo -woo. All right, let's see the gender of the baby, shall we? It better be a girl. I'll be mad. It better be a girl, okay? Or I'm going to be throwing some hands. Oh, I passed it. All right, MC Command Center. Pregnancy. One male, one female. Ah, that's fine. She's having a boy and a girl. At least one of those is a girl. I'm happy with it. Woohoo! She's pregnant. I'm so happy. Look at her little baby bump. It's so cute. Oh, she's not ready to have a baby? How are you not ready, girl? You'll be okay. Thankfully, the pregnancy that came out with negative. She doesn't know she wants children now. Why wouldn't she want children? This is like the perfect time. I didn't want her to be all like sad about it. Unwanted pregnancy. Oh no. Well, hopefully she'll like be happy about it later on. Uh, fingers crossed. I really hope she will be. Well, that's messed up. So you guys know how um, whenever your Sims is a celebrity, they get quirks depending on what they like to do like randomly well because i'm pregnant and she's having mood swings from being pregnant my new quirk is emotion emotion bomb kaylin is finding it difficult to process her negative emotions in a healthy manner feelings of anger or sadness quickly become overwhelming and always result in an overdramatic emotional meltdown so that's lovely i literally received this quirk for something that my sim cannot control because she's pregnant how messed up is that <laughs> Thanks a lot, Sims. So it is 5.50, and like I told you guys already, uh, the Starlight Arcolite starts at 6, so I'm going to change her outfit, and we are going to head out. I'm going to have her wear this because I just love this. So I'm going to have her cut her hair because I think it was time for her to change her hair, and the short hair actually looks really good on her. All right, now to the Starlight Accolades we go. I wasn't planning on her being sad for this, but you know, she can't control her mood swings. She is here. I'm having her so give herself a pep talk really quick because she was sad and I'm hoping that'll change it. So now I'm gonna have her sit down and we're just waiting for the host, which I think the girl in red is the host. Yep. All right, here we go. Hopefully she wins an award, fingers crossed. Okay, Megan Alonzo just won an award. It doesn't say why. It just says they love me. They really love me. Um, exclaimed Megan Alonzo for winning a Starlight Accolade. Okay. Congratulations, girl. <laughs> Was she going to sit on my lap? <laughs> Here we go, guys. Okay. So Kaylin, Miss Pekka, I don't know if I said her new last name right, won the Starlight Accolade for best acting. Woohoo! She did it because she is the best actress. I guess I had to change it. I have a cheat where it can make them not always like pregnancy and I tried turning it off and then she won an award. So I don't know, maybe I just needed to try to fix the tenseness of her pregnancy for her to win. I'm not sure, but I do know that sometimes mods can conflict with the actual game. So that's what I was doing before this. And then she got, she won an award. So that's pretty freaking cool. I am accepting my award. Woohoo! Because I'm awesome and I did it again. I want to thank everybody who didn't think I could do it. I'm almost a five-star celebrity, so in your face, haters! <laughs> On my road to superstardom, my third Oscar win. All right. Woohoo! I'm so proud of her. It looks like she's still upset about the pregnancy, though, so I'm going to try again and see if I can fix it because it's bothering me. Um, let me see. Kaylin's status. Turn off pregnancy side effects for Kaylin. Maybe? It looks like she's still upset about being pregnant. Um, let me see. Oh, here we go. Define pregnancy wish. This is probably it. Would be happy to be pregnant. Okay, let's see if that'll, like, change it. I'm no, I don't know. I'm gonna have her, like, take a bath and see if she relaxes or if she's just gonna be upset about the pregnancy the whole time. So the whole reason I wanted this mod in the first place is because teens can get pregnant and it makes it to where parents can actually be upset with them instead of happy for their teens to be pregnant. Um, but I didn't necessarily want it to affect adult sims that are actually trying for a baby, but I guess it did, so. She's still unhappy, but you know what? She'll get over it. That's just how it's going to be. But anyway, so that's the end of this episode. I'm going to have her put her new Starlight acc Accolade or her new, you know, her new Oscar 
with her other Oscar award. So let's go ahead and do that. Look at her two. They are so beautiful and she has three now. So let's go ahead and put her third one right next to them. Here it is. Oh, freaking beautiful. That is the end of this lovely episode. So in this episode, she got married, she got pregnant, she was nominated for an award, and she actually won. So I would say this was a really great part of Kaylin's life, and I'm very happy. Her She now has a new last name. She went from Kaylin Nix to Kaylin Missa. Missa Pekka, Missy Pekka, Missa Pekka. I don't know, but woohoo! Congratulations to Kaylin. Thank you so much for watching and have a great rest of your weekend. Bye. Thank you so much for watching. I'm really sorry this video was super long. I was on vacation for about two weeks, so I had a lot of catching up to do, but I'm gonna make my other videos shorter, I promise. So if you stayed this long, thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed the video. And as usual, thank you for watching.